Thank you for your purchase of the Fuji Pla model LPE 6510 25-inch roller laminator. Please save this carton. If it should become necessary to ship the laminator back for repair or service, you will need this carton. Please store it in a safe place. Inside the carton, you will find an instruction manual. For safe operation, be sure to read through this instruction manual before operating your laminator. First, let me familiarize you with the laminator. These two metal rods are the mandrels which hold the laminating film during the operation, upper and lower. These are the upper and lower heat shoes, each containing a heat slash pressure roller. Installing the safety cover is done by holding the cover in the up position while inserting the socket on each end of the cover onto the spring-loaded pins, first one side, then the other. You will note that the cover is cut to allow it to fit over the end housing during installation. When turning these screw-type controllers in a clockwise direction, resistance or drag is increased on the film roll, thus turning them in a reverse clockwise direction, resistance or drag is decreased on the film roll. The upper and lower guide rollers are used to keep the laminating film in alignment after being properly installed, threaded. The operation lever, which is normally found on professional laminators, has two positions. When the lever's black knob is pointing straight up, the laminator is in the open position. This refers to the heat shoes and pressure rollers being parted or open. This open position is recommended for longer periods of non-use time, thus avoiding the possibility of flat spots being developed on the rollers which could require their replacement. In addition, the open position accommodates a much easier threading of a cold laminator prior to turning the unit on. Also, in event of a wraparound when laminating film rolls onto the pressure roller instead of exiting the laminator, the wraparound can be corrected in the open position by pulling the film out. Never use any sharp instrument to cut film from a roller. This will damage the roller and require replacement. When the lever's black knob is pointing straight down, the laminator is in the laminate position for normal operation. The ready light will go on when the laminator has reached the heat level requested. The temp dial allows for various types of film to be used and up to 3 mil thickness. Also various types of material thickness as well. The higher the number on the dial, the higher the temperature. Consult the instruction manual for recommendations. To turn the electric power on and off, the motor switch has three positions, center position off, top position on, bottom position hold for reverse. The power lamp lights when the electric power is being supplied to the laminator. The feed tray is installed by fitting the notches on the back of the tray onto the support pins installed on both sides of the end plates. After engaging the back support pins, lower the front of the tray to engage the support pins located on the front side. Engage the top of the rear tray on the back of the laminator as shown. Then engage the support wire to the bottom hooks. Check to be sure that the power cord is connected to the proper grounded socket and the current at the receptacle is adequate for the current required for the laminator. See the instruction manual for other safety precautions involving placement of your laminator. Now that you have been introduced to the various parts and components of the laminator, let's put the operational lever in the open or up position and we'll review the process of setting up the unit to laminate. The laminator should be cold and turned off. You may wish to remove the feed tray and safety shield prior to installing the film rolls. Remove the top mandrel from the laminator. In the center of the mandrel, th there are mounted two metal points. 
take a roll of laminating film that has the dull adhesive side facing away from the heat shoe and put the film roll on the mandrel. Center it. Note, if the rolls you are using have the dull adhesive side in, then the top metal point on the mandrel should be facing the operator and the film should be coming off the roll traveling down. Now place the mandrel back onto the laminator. Now repeat the procedure as you did for the top mandrel. Except on the bottom film position, the top metal point will be facing away from the operator and the film roll with the dull adhesive side in will unroll from the back side of the roll going up as you unwind it. Center the film on the mandrel. Now place the bottom mandrel back onto the laminator. With the bottom film roll on the laminator, as you pull the film up from the back side of the bottom roll, the dull adhesive side should be facing the operator. With the top film roll on the laminator, as you pull the film down from the back side of the roll, the dull adhesive side should be facing the operator. Important note. The dull adhesive side should always be on the opposite side of the heat shoes. Following the diagrams on the laminator or in the instruction manual, thread the film as directed. First, pull the film approximately one or two feet down from the top roll of film over the cold heat shoes. Now pull the film up and behind the bottom guide roller. Place the film over the film that has been brought down from the top roll of film and over the heat shoes. Use all of the one foot to two foot of film and temporarily secure. Using the white plastic threading board supplied with your laminator, feed the film from both rolls through and between the heat shoes and pull rollers. Continuing through and out of the back side of the laminator. Now pull the film tight, adjust the film rolls on their mandrels to make sure the edges of the rolls align with each other. Now place the operating lever in the laminate position, the black knob pointing directly down. Now install the feed tray and safety shield if they were removed for the film threading process. Turn on the power switch to start the heating of the laminator. Set the temp temperature control for the film and thickness of material you wish to laminate. The laminator should be ready in about five minutes. When the green ready light comes on, you may now insert the material you wish to laminate and turn on the motor switch. Observe the material and laminating process. If there seems to be a problem, you may turn off the motor switch or put the switch in the reverse position. Observe the laminating material exiting the laminator. Problems? If so, use the motor switch or simply turn off the laminator. After the material you laminated has exited the laminator and you have no more to laminate, turn off the motor switch. Then cut the laminated material free from the unit with a pair of scissors or other appropriate instrument. Proper trimming can be done later if necessary. Turn off the power switch and return the operation lever to the open position with the black knob pointing straight up.